Hey everyone and welcome back to Budget with Alicia. If you are new here, hi, I'm Alicia. I'm 25 years old. Um, I am in Canada. I'm a single lady and I paid off almost $16,000 in a year, um, which was an accumulation of two student loans. And now I am working on baby step three, if you follow the Dave Ramsey plan, um, which is saving my emergency fund and, sa and saving for other items. So um, before we get started, like normal, we're going to put in all of our change from the last pay period. Um, there isn't too, too, too much this time again. Very little actually, really. Um, so we'll put that in and then we'll get started. All right, so that's all the change. So we'll get these guys out of the way. And while I get the money, we'll just have a little chit chat here. So I just wanted to say that normally what I do is I use the um, leftover money from last pay periods, um, sinking or uh, cash envelopes to put towards sinking funds this pay period. Now I did talk about in my last video that I'm not gonna really gonna be contributing too much to my sinking funds because I'm trying to finish off my emergency fund or get it as close to finish as I can before the end of the year. So I'm not putting anything in my sinking funds except for a couple that are higher priority. Um, but I did have quite a bit of money left over from my cash envelopes last pay period. Um, so instead of doing them separately, like doing the sinking funds and then going back and putting the money back out again for the other items, I'm going to just mix them together and do it that way only because I have quite a bit, um, because I have, I'm trying to remember which one, which piles, which, <laughs> uh, this one here. So I have all of this left over because I had a couple of items. So for example, I sold a couple of things. I had some left over. So I'll tell you right now, I had five left over from um, spending, I believe. I had 20 left over from food. I had 10 left over from um, gas. So that's those. And then I sold something for $10. I sold something for 15. And I actually found $100 on the ground, straight up. Like the year's not going very well, but that went well. <laughs> um, so there's 50, 20, so 70, 80, 90, 100. So I have all this money to put in as well as the a little bit of money that I'm putting in my sinking funds um, from this pay period. So I'm just going to put all the money together just because it's two larger amounts instead of it just being like $10 left over or something. Um, I'm just going to put them together. So let's just do that. And stay tuned to the end of the video because I have a giveaway. I'm super excited. So stay tuned for that so that you uh, know how to enter. There we go. All right. this is centered perfect okay and let's just make sure that we can write yeah we should be okay I might have to move it down but that's okay okay so first we have rent which normally I don't really put in here on camera but I will today since I already have the money out so I'm putting a hundred dollars in my rent envelope so that's not a big deal um next is food which is going to get sixty five dollars There we go. So 20, 
40, 60, oops, 65, so 20, 40, 65. That's done. Next is gasoline, which is going to get 40. Perfect. And then last uh, for the cash envelopes is spending and it's going to get fifteen dollars so we got ten fifteen and if you do watch my other videos you'll notice that i took giving out i did talk about that in my last video but i just thought i would touch on it again um because i have a sinking fund dedicated to christmas giving and now we're in December. I'm not going to use my giving um, envelope for this month. Um, and I'll start it back up in the new year. I did actually end up drawing from the entire giving amount to donate to both of my cousins for Movember. So I actually don't have anything in there anyway. Um, but we'll start it up again in the new year. So the first sinking fund that I'm going to con continue to contribute to during um, December is car maintenance, which is going to get $20. Because I have an older car, I just want to continue and not stop putting money into it. Um, so we're going to put 20 especially since that's something that could potentially end up being something that draws from my emergency fund as well, right? So this should have 240 in it. So 150 60 80, 120, and 40. Perfect. I did get an oil change not too long ago, um, so that's why I'm trying to get it a little bit funded heavier. Um, next is dental. Um, I did go and get my fillings done. It didn't cost me too much because I'm still on my mom's insurance, but as of the end of the year, I won't be anymore, and I do have to get my wisdom teeth out which in, within the next year or so, so I, or... I'd like to get them out in the next year so I don't have to worry about them anymore. So I'm trying to fund up enough money to pay for them. It is quite expensive when you don't have insurance. Um, so I'm working on saving up for that. I also have to get a night guard, which I believe the insurance is only going to cover the majority of it. But I think there'll be about $70 left over. So I have to pay for that as well. Um, so we're going to put 40 in here. Which should be at 250 20, 40, okay, so we have 50, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 20, 40, 50, 45, 50, perfect. So that's done, but I will actually be contributing a little bit more to that, but because I have them in separate piles, I'm just going to do it again after. <laughs> um, and then finally is makeup and hygiene which is going to get ten dollars so that's all the money that i put aside from my actual paycheck to go towards um towards it so i do have to get shampoo and conditioner and a couple of things which is why i'm still contributing to this one i probably won't really contribute anything to it um the rest of the the month but i'm going to this time so 20 40 60 or sorry 50 60 65 70 75 um, I might put something in it from leftover funds but I won't be putting anything in it from my actual paycheck so that is all the ones that I funded from my actual paycheck which allowed me to put $400 towards my emergency fund this month which is awesome I'm super excited about that um, I do have I think a, exactly a thousand dollars left for what I wanted to accomplish by the end of the year. So I don't know if I'll be able to put another $1,000 between the next two paychecks. Probably not. So I'm just trying to cut back as much as I can to try and get it as close as I can so I can at least finish it early in the year if I can't complete it. So next is the other ones that I'm just funding because I have some extra money and... The first one is, just one second here, 
The first one is budgeting. And that is because I still have to get a few more things for budgeting, um, budgeting supplies for the new year. So I'm going to be putting $30 in here. I did buy my new paper, which you'll see here shortly, actually. Um, but I still have a few other things I have to get still. I have to get more lamination sheets and a few things. So I just wanted to put a little bit of money in there so I can pay for that. Next is Christmas. Um, so I haven't been funding Christmas at all because I was done. But I found that I'm running out of money a little bit. I know I still have a few more gifts to get. Um, with COVID and everything, we're doing smaller gatherings, which means... Um, I have to bring like food items and stuff to more gatherings and stuff, if that makes sense. Um, I've also decided to do more baking than I originally anticipated. And I did overspend on a couple of people as well. So between all those things, I just want to make sure I have enough money. I think I probably still do. Um, cause I do have still have $210 left. And I really just have my baking supplies and a couple of things to get still. So I should be fine. And honestly, if Christmas ends up with money left over, it's going to go back into sinking funds anyway. So I'm just thinking I'll just put it there in case I need it. And if I don't, then at least I had it. And um, I can just put it into something else after. So I should be at 260 And since I found money on the ground, I figured whatever <laughs> so I'll put this 50 in there so then it should be 50 70 90 110 130 150 170 190 210 230 250 255 260 so perfect I think my baking stuff will probably be about 100 bucks and the other few like I still have to get my wrapping paper I still have to and a couple of gifts still, a couple of stocking stuffer type things I still have to get as well. And we're still debating at my dad's house if we're going to do a name draw or anything or just leave it this year or what we're going to do. So I'll have to have money for that gift as well. So I just want to make sure that I have enough and don't have to try and use my credit card or try and take it from something else later. And that way if I have some left over, great. If I don't, whatever. <laughs> so next is gifts. And gifts is going to get $20. Um, it has $140 in it right now. So it should have $160. And I do have to get my grandma a birthday present. So that's probably where this $20 will go for the most part. But so $50. 70, 90, 110, 130, 140, 145, 150, 155, 160. Perfect. And since I did downsize a few of my birthday envelopes into gifts, I do have to start really contributing to it a little bit more than I used to. Um, Cause I used to be like $10 to gifts and then $5 to like the three birthdays that I incorporated. So I'll have to put like 20 to $30 probably every paycheck or at least every month in there to kind of pay for those gifts but I'll be figuring out that and what I should be contributing and stuff um, in a video later in December it may go up in January but it'll be filmed in December I do have like four videos for December and four videos for January so there'll be lots of content coming your way which is awesome um, but some of them might be kind of delayed just based on trying to keep them somewhat separated schedule so that they're not like all going up the same time. Um, next is my birthday and I'm going to be putting $10 in here. There's already 85. So we're at 95. I didn't use many of these five. Now I'm going to have to use them all. <laughs> okay, so 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95. My goal is probably like 100 to 150, so it's not going to be... I don't have much left to do. And my birthday's not until March, so that's good. Um, Spoil Yourself is going to get $20. There's currently... 
15 in here. This will honestly probably go to filling my own stocking. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. Because um, I want to get a few things for my stocking. I'm doing stockings this year. So I want to make sure I get stuff in my stocking, obviously. So that's probably where it'll go to. It wouldn't surprise me. But if not, then it'll just go on to next year. Because I could also use my spending money for some of that stuff as well. Because I do, don't do usually use my spending money at all. So 10, 20, 25, 30, 35. I typically it ends up in other sinking funds so <laughs> okay um next is dental again so dental is going to get ten dollars from extra so we'll put that in there So it should be at 260. If you are Canadian, do you remember these old bills? I got one from something. I don't even remember where. But it's like one of the old, like more papery ones before we got the plastic ones. If you're not from Canada, like here's the difference. Um, like these ones are very like plasticky, whereas this one's like paper. I don't know. I'm kind of obsessed with it because I've kind of forgot that they used to feel that way. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we have 50. 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 20, 40, 50, or sorry, 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Perfect. Next is miscellaneous. I'm just going to throw $10 in miscellaneous, which will bring it to 25. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. And finally is shopping. I messed up somewhere. Fun fact. Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> okay, well, shopping gets ten dollars. Which would bring it to 115. So we have 50, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100, 5, 10, 15. So that's correct. I have no idea where this other 10 is supposed to go. Maybe I did it based on the wrong amount of money. I'm not exactly sure. I'll go through this and kind of figure it out. If not, I'll throw it in one of the funds if there just actually is extra money. I may have had more money than what I allocated when I did my breakdown of the leftover money. I may have had 170 instead of 160 but we'll see. Okay, um, so now we're going to get into the giveaway. So I'm going to be giving away two separate things. Well, two, basically two of the same thing. Um... But two separate things basically so one is going to be from youtube and one's going to be from my instagram so if you haven't already followed my instagram make sure to do so it is budget with alicia on instagram same as here um so basically here is the first one i'm going to be giving away six envelopes so this is the first envelope this is the second one the third one it's got some gold on it the fourth one's like a greeny one pink one and then there's this one which is really nice and it's also like more colored on this side um so yeah so I'm giving away like a greeny purpley blue set or um for one set and then I will be giving a more there's no green in this one so this one's like more pinky purpley and blue instead of the other way around so yeah so there's that so there's two sets of envelopes, both six. There's going to come with a couple of extra little surprises as well. Um, so to enter for um, YouTube, you just subscribe, like this um, video, and then comment down below what your financial, your main financial goal, goal is for 2021. And make sure to put your Instagram handle as well so that I can message you if you win. And then over on Instagram, 
um, you can get another chance to win and you just have to like the post, uh, comment down below your, your financial goal for 2021. And, um, if you share it to your store, you get another entry. So you have three chances to win, um, all together, but yeah, so they're really beautiful. I love them. These are actually like sneak peek of what mine will look like. Um, there are other colors and stuff that I'll be using as well. Um, but these are some of them. So yeah, make sure to, um, enter for sure. Um, the deadline will be the 19th so that I can send them out on the 20th and hopefully they will get there before the end of the year. Now I know that because there's a bunch of holiday days in there, it may not get there before the end of the year, but hopefully the person will get it depending on what country they live in and how far away they are from my location, I guess. Um, but hopefully they'll get them early in the new year at least. So yeah, anyways, um, have a good couple, well, have a good week because I will have another episode or another video up next Monday. Um, so make sure to look out for that and it'll be something a bit different than normal, which is exciting. Um, so yeah, have a good week, everybody. Bye.